Well, hi everybody, how are you? Lulu here, welcome back, welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm on my way to the grocery store, so this is gonna be quick. Uh, Chicago area is having gorgeous, gorgeous weather, uh, you know, kind of on the brink of fall, nothing is changing colors at all. But uh, we've had cool weather, today is a beautiful blue sky with lots of those big white puffy clouds and um, just gorgeous. Uh, so nice to be done with the humidity, just the hot humidity. We didn't have an awful summer, to be honest. The last few weeks we had some sinkers in the 90s with horrible humidity. But really, if you think about, if we think about June, July, we had a very mild summer, lots of rain. The grass stayed green even without watering uh, for most of the summer. And uh, it's green again because we had rain this week. It was starting to get a little crunchy from the heat wave. But anyway, so hi, I should take my glasses off. Hi, how are you? I'm not, I have grocery store makeup on, which is very little makeup, but I do always wear makeup to the grocery store. Uh, so let me think, what else? Um, oh, there you are, not there, you're there. Uh, so yeah, full load of groceries that I have to buy this morning. So I'm not gonna take you in or I don't do grocery hauls, but I wanted to at least say hello and uh, let you know I'm here. I've been watching all your videos, trying to comment as often as I can. I don't, I'm not an always kind of commenter, but I try, I try because I know, you know, the effort that goes into it. And uh, we'll try to offer my opinion on a product or, you know, whatever, just, yes, I love it. Yes, I agree, it's awful or some such thing. And I've had some really nice purchases the last few weeks. I don't know that I'm going to do a haul. You know, I just kind of tend to pick up things and put them in my, you know, walk around the house, pick up what's kind of new. But uh, some nice splurgy things. I got, I was able to get the Tom Ford limited edition duo highlighter. Beautiful, beautiful. And then uh, I got the little Burberry set from Sephora that is, did I already talk about this in a haul? In a vlog? Anyway. The little Burberry set that was available to VIB Rouge only. I don't know if they've released it to everyone. I don't know if it's gone, but that was a really nice set. Uh, even the box, I mean, everything about it was beautiful, as was the Tom Ford packaging. Oh my goodness, I think I blogged about it. Uh, I'm still smacking. You can tell I'm still smacking. I hope that goes away someday. And I'm about to turn and I have a feeling the sun is gonna be blinding us. So I'm gonna shut this off for now and come back later and hope that I'm pretty good at splicing things. I've learned how to do that now. So y'all take care. What was I yucking, yucking, yucking? About? Oh, lots of shopping. So I started, you know, I filmed, I have a new consulting, I'm a consultant. So I change clients, you know, once every year or two. I met a client for a specific reason, a specific project. Generally the projects, I mean, I've had some that have lasted only three months. I've had some that have gone two years. Uh, so I just finished my, I've, I have, you know, and they're all big companies in the Chicago area, but so I just started a new one and I filmed on my very first day And I filmed on my very first day, but uh, I don't think I ever put up the video. Maybe I'll put it on at the end of this. And why was I just talking about this? I have absolutely no idea. Okay, let me think. I am talking about this because, where was I going with this? Oh, my shopping. I've had a lot of shopping because every time you go to another consult client, you know, there's just a different vibe in the air. I I missed my turn, so I'm turning around because isn't that lovely? And now I'm probably in very bright sunshine. Um, sorry about the glowy factor. So anyway, you know, I'm gonna fin I'm gonna stop and just finish this. So I've been buying a lot of new clothes to kind of. You know, some places are casual and edgy, some are business casual, some are still a little. I heard the term recently, was it on Evine or QVC or in a magazine, elegant with edge. Some places are simply conservative. That's very rare, that's, that's very rare today, you know, but I've been working forever. And so I am buying things to kind of fit, you know, 
most of my wardrobe does, but you know, any excuse, plus a new season and you know, you just need to replace a few things. So I've been shopping a lot for clothing uh, and uh, Ann Taylor is one of my favorite places to shop, very much so. A few brands at Nordstrom I like that I just, you know, they fit, I know what I need, I like it, boom, done. But Ann Taylor, I can almost shop with my eyes closed. So I've been getting quite a bit of that and uh, and I have to get to Target because Target is just great for fillers, you know, for giving you variety for a low price but still looks great. You, I just have to get myself over to Target. I was looking online and there were a few things but uh, I was surprised at how little there was actually so I'm hoping maybe in store but usually they match in store with online. Anyway. Uh, so that's kind of where I, I've been these days. Maybe I'll put at the end the first day to my new consulting gig. I think I go on and on a little too much and that's why I didn't put it up. Like, you know, I was excited and I was babbling. It was my first day and, uh, but it's going great. I finished two weeks and fabulous. Very, what I would say is very, very relaxed in terms of, it's just hard to describe compared to my, my last, um, client which I was there over a year uh, so but just this is very relaxed very easy no just I don't even know I, that's everyone asks me and I just say it's very relaxed what you see is what you get everybody you know true true open door policy and I think the beauty of being a consultant is that you do, and that's why you're brought in as a consultant, because you've had a lot of experience at different companies and you can bring best practices and you can tell them maybe what not to do, what has failed in the past. You know, you just gather all this experience and then you come and you say, this is how could this could fit or not fit into your environment. And this is what I propose. And now let's go through the process of implementing it. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I have to get to the grocery store. I'm picking up my mom later today. She'll be spending a few hours with us. And uh, that's it. So talk to you in a little bit. And uh, good Sunday morning to you. Okay, we are at the grocery store. I stopped and got myself a McDonald's. Coffee, medium, one cream. Hot. Sometimes I get iced, but this morning I was in the mood for a hot coffee. I've already had coffee at home. Today is a big day in Chicago. Bears versus Packers. We are a football family. My boys played ball, championship ball in high school. We were state championships multiple times. We were we were definitely a football school. And uh, they, uh, and even before that, we, we've just always, always, since the boys were little, my husband's a football, of all the sports, definitely football. Maybe even only one that you really see him watch regularly, and hockey. Uh, so it's a big day, and uh, so when I go in the grocery store, I'm going to see if I can find kind of football-ish snacks. I know that I'm going to get wings for sure. This grocery store does an excellent, um, they take fresh jalapenos, and they slice them in half. They fill them so they're fresh. They fill them with a cream cheese type filling, and then they spread all kinds of shredded cheese on top of them, and a little bit of uh, pico de gallo on them, and you bake them. <gasps> They are so good. I'm hoping they have some. So they're different than the jalapeno poppers, which are breaded. These are just fresh. And because you don't have to bake them too long, the jalapeno is still fresh versus versus what? Deep fried or whatever. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, so I have to stop saying so. That's a speech tick I have. My sister pointed that out. So, so. All right, I will be back probably on the way home and let you know how grocery shopping went. I don't really do grocery shopping hauls. Really, I'm here to talk about beauty, but I didn't have time. I don't think I'm gonna have time, but I wanted to put a video up. Talk to you later. I'm wearing, I know I can tell you later on the way home. Okay, what I'm grocery shopping is done. How long did that take me? An hour and a half? And the worst part was the deli. Uh, the deli at this particular, I shop at Jewel in the Chicago area. They're owned by Albertsons, I think. Or did Albertsons sell them? I don't remember. And uh, this, I, I can go to either, I have two that I can go to. And I like the layout of this one better, but the deli at this one is atrocious. Like they move like molasses. 
and cashiers are good everything else is good um, and I buy a lot of jelly I buy a lot of jelly uh, sliced meats and some of the prepared salads and they have the chicken wings there and uh, the cheeses so I, I you know oh but anyway here I am I think I said I was gonna tell you what I was wearing because I have nothing else to talk about I really don't have any uh, eyeshadow on I just have uh, mascara on and the mascara today is Mas the Maybelline Falsies volume I have Trish McAvoy something or other on my lids to get rid of the redness and the staining whatever her lid primer eyeshadow primer is I forget what it's called and then on my face I have Dior nude air nude air serum foundation which I love I, you know me I'm just loving these serum foundations under my eyes Mac pro Longwear, more of a brightener and I should know the name I have a very simple this is probably the lightest lipstick I would wear it's Lancome Rouge in love but I don't remember the color in the line sorry didn't look and blush is a Laura, oh, Laura Geller tropical hues I don't know if I've ever done a what am I wearing but anyway, I wanted to finish that up. So, oh, I got, do you shop on Q QVC? I don't know if you can see this. Does it show up? <laughs> oh my goodness, if somebody's watching me. Years ago, I fell in love with Robert Lee Morris when all of his work was in silver. I just love the smooth, shiny, organic. It was like nothing I had ever seen. I own a lot of his original line. And now he is doing uh, his line. He was, I feel he was gone from QVC for a long time, a decade. Like he'd show up every once in a while on a designer gallery day, but he's been gone a long time. His his original work in New York is, or where is he now in Santa Fe? He's got a gallery, wherever his gallery is, is pricey, of course. And he's now back on QVC and he's working in white brass that looks just like his shiny organic smooth uh, sterling so I bought a few pieces fell in love and bought a bunch more I have earrings I have a big bracelet anyway this watch is by him and I love it it's I'm not a watch person but you know I feel like it's more jewelry uh, half the time the time is wrong but I don't know if you could make out the pebbly you know and his initials are so long and slender just little dots for the hours for the numbers and then it looks like a grainy face and I love the thin watch and then the big round I'm loving this watch and uh, that's about it I carry these earrings at Sparkle and Court my online jewelry store so these are from Sparkle and Court and oh my goodness I have to get the I apologize. I'm gonna. I'm, I, I have not gotten my prices out yet. No, I haven't forgotten. As a matter of fact, that'll probably have to be my project. Maybe I'll have my mom help me. Anyway, so hugs to all of you. Thanks for stopping by and putting up with this series of ramblings while I'm driving. And uh, oh, see, I ramble. I forget to take my put my seatbelt on. Honest to goodness, I do. This happens. I'll get used to this. Anyway, so calm down. All right, uh, let me turn because I can't turn the camera off while I'm turning. So have a great go bears. I have no idea what they're doing. I didn't hear. Oh, I'm in glare. Bye.